Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. So today we will discuss the poem An Elementary School in a Slum. An Elementary School in a Slum. So the poet is Stephen Spenter and the poem deals with social injustice and class inequalities. So we will go to the poem. Far away from gusty waves, these children's faces, like rootless weeds, the hair torn around their pallor, the tall girl with her weighed down head, the paper seeming boy with rat's eye, the stunted, unlucky hair of twisted bonds reciting a father's gnarled disease, his lesson from his desk. At the back of the dim class, one unnoted, sweet and young. His eyes live in a dream of squirrel's game in the tree room other than this. So here, the poet describes the pathetic condition of the children of slums. Hmm? So far away from the strong winds and waves. The children's faces looks like rootless wild plants with disorderly and unkept hair on their dull face. So here the poet describes a slum school classroom. Hmm? So how are the children in the classroom? Hmm? Their faces. Uh, it's very dull and their hairs are scattered. Uh, and he is describing about a girl. A tall girl is sitting way down head. That means uh, she's, she has kept her down, head down, uh, depressed due to burden. The thin lean, lean boy with bulged eyes like rat. Uh, so another Paper seeming boy. Paper seeming boy means thin and lean boy uh, with rat's eyes. Uh, with eyes bulged like rats. The stunned unlucky hair of twisted bonds reciting a father's gnarled disease. So they are undeveloped children whose growth is blocked uh, and they inherit the twisted bonds of their parents. And he is not reciting a lesson from his desk but enumerating that is listing. He is going on telling one by one the complicated disease of his father. Hmm? All there is a girl a tall girl uh, with her head down hmm, it's because of depressed due to burden and there is a lean thin boy with rat eye, and the children are going on telling the lesson but it looks like they are going on listing out the diseases of their parents and on another place there is a boy. At the back of the dim class, one unknotted, sweet and young, his eyes lives in a dream of the squirrel's game in the tree room other than this. A sweet young boy sits at the back of the dark room, hmm? unnoticed. He is sitting there unnoticed. Dream seems to be alive in his eyes. Uh, he has dreams in his eyes. He dreams of outdoor games outside his dull classroom. He dreams of squirrel playing games in the hollow of a tree. Hmm? So there is a boy, young boy, sitting at the back. Hmm? Sitting at the back, he is unnoticed. So he is having dreams. He dreams of the world outside he looks outside and thinks about it about the squirrel's game playing in the hollow of a tree on sour cream walls donations 
Shakespeare's head cloudless at dawn civilized dome riding all cities belt flowery tyrolese valley open handed map awarding the world its world and yet for these children these windows not this world our world where all their futures painted with a fog a narrow street sealed in with a lead sky far far from rivers capes and stars of words so on the sore walls on the dull walls and dull cream walls of the classroom there are pictures there are pictures of shakespeare and there is picture various other pictures and map is also there so the gift given as donation these are gifted for the school as a part of donation huh? so this gift given as donation and the picture of shakespeare head are hung on the unpleasant creamy walls of the classroom in the early morning the sky is cloudless high domes of building of the civilized world shine in every city huh? so here in this slum everything is dull huh? nothing is pleasant but the outside world there are lots of big big building uh, the it is shining and neat in the outside world but whereas in the slum everything is dull dirty uh, and polluted music of bells and fragrance of flowers spread, spread in the tyrol valley uh, it's a valley in austria mm, so everywhere it's beautiful and uh, there is smell of flowers uh, but in this slum it's very dull dark dirty the map of this world is made and reshaped by the dictators in power mm, so the map the map on the wall it shows only the big big cities and towns the slum school is not mentioned there so according to the people who are controlling uh, the sh- uh, maps are shaped and reshaped they are many places are shown there mm? they partition it and they impose their world on others and uh, that the maps don't uh, the slum school doesn't have a place in the map uh, it shows the power of the strong on the weak uh, they shows th- the, the map only shows the big big town cities and places for the children all these pictures and paintings are meaningless for them the picture of shakespeare or the map which shows different places it doesn't have any effect on them because they are living in this slum in this ditch mm, they are not able to go out of their slum they are not go they are not able to go out from here so for them the world for them their world is this slum and the beautiful things outside doesn't give them any meaning because they are not able to get it their dirty and unpleasant surroundings form their own world they live live in a world where the fog of uncertainty dominates the future their future is uncertain uh, they are unfortunate and lucky unlucky to live in the congested narrow street of the slum with dull sky far from the beautiful world of rivers capes and stars this is cape hmm? area surrounded by water mountainous area hmm? so for them all this beautiful world all this beautiful valley cape stars everything for them it is meaningless uh, for the, uh, they are not having a chance to see the outside world for them their sky is dull and their slum is narrow congested and dirty uh, their future they live here and they die there surely shakespeare is wicked and the map a bad example with ships and sun and love tempting them to f- steal for lives that slyly turn into their cramped holes from fog 
to endless night on their slag heaps these children were skins peeped through through by bones and spectacles of steel with mended glass like bottle bits on stones all of their time and space are foggy slum so blot their maps with slums as big as doom so this shakespeare and the map is considered as wicked and is a bad example why because shakespeare's as well as the map are of no use to them for the for the work of shakespeare or the beauty portrayed in the map cannot relieve them from despair uh, the map on the wall gives them false aspiration as it makes them aware of the beautiful world and so it gives them false aspiration so both of them the map and the picture of shakespeare are considered as wicked and bad hmm? the ship sun and love symbolizes joy and happiness which these children are deprived of they only experience hunger and poverty so all these doesn't have any role in their life and to reach the beautiful world these children are sometimes tempted to steal to fulfill their dreams hmm? so you know uh, some of these beautiful scenes uh, it may uh, it tempt them and they steal in order to fulfill their dreams they live in narrow holes striving and struggling for survival in the small dirty rooms there is no end to this kind of life it starts from the fog of uncertainty and ends with their death so there is no way out they start their life and they end there itself uh, there is no escape from the here uh, their life is like a fog uh, which is uncertain it is covered with fog and it ends with their death and the fog ends with the death on the heap of of waste these small children wander aimlessly their bones are peeping out of their skins they wear spectacles of steel with mended glass which looks like pieces of broken bottles on stone all their time and space is spent in those dirty and foggy slums these slums are like blots that is stain dirt huh? stain or dirt on the world of the rich unless governor teacher inspector visitor this map becomes their window and these windows that shut upon their lives like catacombs break or break open till they break the town and show the children green fields and make their world run as were on gold sand and let their tongues run naked into books the white and green leaves open history is theirs whose language is the sun so unless the governor a uh, teacher inspector or visitors uh, unless they come and do something this won't end uh, there is no coordination between the map of the civilized world and the world of the children uh, the civilized people are uh, they are civilized rich and they are having a better life but the life in the slum Mm, the condition is very pitiable so the people the authorities should do something huh? they must cut the gap between the civilized world and the children in the slum they must look into the life of the children of slums the environment of slums have blocked their progress and they lie like underground graves hmm? catacombs means underground graves these obstacles should be broken and let them breathe the open air their world should extend to the sky blue wave rising over the gold sand 
let them express freely without any fear because only those people who have the warmth and strength of the sun make and create history let this people also come out from this ditch from the catacomb underground graves let them come out so the authorities the governor teacher inspector visitors all these people should huh, improve their condition they should do something so that hmm, there will be a balance between the civilized and the people in the slum hmm? so now they are living a life a dark life so let everything be uh break all the barriers and bring them up so that they can also move freely uh they can enjoy they can experience the world outside and let them learn uh they can, they are able to learn and they can talk freely without any fright they can speak what they want to say because um, only history is made and created where there is warmth and strength of the sun so a person who is always in a miserable condition in a place where they are not able to develop ah uh, there won't be any progress so they should come out progress should be made to the people of the slums hmm? so that's a poem an elementary school classroom in a slum hope it's clear thank you